This video is brought to you by a product I use weekly, Harry's. More on them after the reaction. Citizens of the Reject Nation, we are back once again. It is I, John, regular John, and with me, as always, each week, you know him as the And Gin. You know him as John Blackthorn. It's Andrew Gordon, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing, bud? John, I always appreciate a great introduction and... You always do such a great job, so thank you. I'm getting you don't very sad. One. We are getting to the conclusion of this amazing show. Oh, God. Did something big happen at the end of the last episode? I don't know. Not that I can really remember, but you guys can fill us in in the comments. You guys have been doing a great job of that all season. Really appreciate yes, both seriously, your... Yes, thank you. Uh, yeah, color commentary as well as speculation. It's fun to kind of be all together on the ride, so leave a like, people, for the experience. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when the episode 9 reaction comes your way. Big thanks to Perepper for chopping down the highlights. It is a task and they do a lovely job with it. Appreciate their help very much. Hey, if you want to get the full and complete Shogun experience alongside Andrew Blackthorn and myself, see everything that doesn't make the reaction highlights, come on over to patreon.com slash the real reject. Sync up with your own copy and enjoy Shogun as well as all the other shows and movies we've got reaction highlights and watch alongs for. It's a good time there. Teas like these are available at rejectnationshop.com. Check Check them out for yourself if you'd like to support while rocking some fresh drips. And speaking of drips, I imagine it will be raining in feudal Japan. Let's Ugh. jump into episode eight! <laughs> Ain't nothing bad gonna happen today. It's a good opening contrast. Begin. Oh no. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> this is not going to be a calm moment for long. I think this is uh, the calm before the storm. My man's not looking good. Oh. Oh, okay. I wasn't aware of it. This is a funeral procession. Jeez, <laughs> oh, man. He's, at least we know he's very sensitive. He's the gallows water cooler guy. Saikisama's army will camp at Edo's boundary where they will wait for Toranaga-sama to mourn his son. Respect. How long? Seven days? The customary 49 oh. days. Damn. Wowie! And after that? They will deliver us to Osaka. 49 days? You get almost... Oh, okay. That's yeah, almost two months. Yeah. About 11 days short. Damn, you could feel it in that moment. It's powerful. <laughs> I'm gonna call you Math Drew from now on. Yeah. Wow, that view. Oh, cr crossing the bridge to the other side. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Do you? I mean, you could tell he appreciate it, but he's, he's hurting. Oh, yeah. And he might be sick? My lord instructed me to give these to you upon entry to the city for the completion of your service. Oh, what? When we submit to the council, you're not required to join us, since you no longer choose to stand with us anyway. Oh. Fujisama will manage the land until your return. Though I cannot say how my lord's successors may deal with you. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be fine. Fine strategy, yes. At least Nagakado-sama died fighting. Oh. Did he now? I mean, he... he kinda. did, um... In the midst of a fight. Yeah. And my translator, what becomes of her? <laughs> yeah, I can get to my ship later, actually. Don't go towards our cup. It's all part of the My plan. My allegiance right forbids me from doing anything else. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Just cast a pall. Yeah, as appropriately always. Over the, nailing the yeah. tone in the first five minutes. Just drawing you in. <sighs> That's an awesome tracking shot. I love it. Yeah. Oh. High scope. Oh, oh yes. it's a drone shot. Oh. Or a crane <laughs> shot. <laughs> Either way, sick. <laughs> oh, the abyss of life. Uh, uh, トラナがまだもう二福してておる。トラナがが地面に頭をこすりつけて降伏するまで、あの者の脅威から解き放たれはいたしませんね。Yeah, <laughs> Oh. Oh, my man. 
I am really cunning and ruthless. Fair. Not alive, I shall speak ill of him. Give me 49 days to think about it. For love, of course, and no other reason. Oh. Uh. Oh, man. <laughs> Fair. And had a lot to be proved. <laughs> what? <laughs> that does sound like something he would do. Not necessarily smart, but brave. True. The cannon thing with Josen? That was bad. Yeah, I would have felt included for the first time. しかしあの方はおられぬ。ああ。友が幸福を選ばれ。あの蛇のような意思を名前で切腹することを選ばれたがゆえに、それは長門様には大型機ことでございました。え、interesting。あの方が無効水であったにせよ。ご自分の命を
エンロハルバドの知らせに参ったと申すかマリゴ殿これよりこのバテレンの通事を務めようキリシタン教会は我が味方にあらず火の元の言葉をしゃべりよってもおおじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじわしに対する恨みは変えられんぞ。Unlike Ishido, you love the air. If you form an alliance with his mother, the air would be free to turn against Ishido. Oh. 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 But I still feel like he won't go down without a fight. It will lead to a fight, but I like that they're trying to avoid it. Yeah, of course. Even this late in the game. <laughs> Prove that you love her. It's a powerful enemy. I know everything. And we still don't really know how he feels about Wow, man. God, it says me I'm in the GBCFO. Yeah, right? Whoa. I always felt like that person. Particular priest has always been like the level headed one. Wow. Damn, man. He's got a really interesting eye from the ground level.、Oh, what's that old saying? Make him think you're weak when you're strong? Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Well, that's the, the game partly now, is, is too, because there are so many spies and because there are so many personal interests and tenuous allegiances. Like, yeah, I guess you would have to keep the truth as concealed as possible. <laughs> For sure. That's a, that's a very good point. <laughs> Huh. Is that the word for tea? So he wouldn't poison her, right?、Uh, that's not what I'm expecting. Okay, good. <laughs> no, I think he really does want to want, reach her、yeah. in some way. And I don't feel like he has any allegiances that would behoove him to like, try and poison her or something. Huh. Like、Seeing、he's doing、totally、something nice for、yeah. me. Well, yeah, I mean, look at like it's completely different from how we almost always see him from his dress to his posture. He's not shooting his... bone arrows past my face. Sure. <laughs> it's not hot enough. <laughs> yeah. Sucks. I got some, some pointers. I had better hot tea, I had coffee bean. You suck. The mood of this exchange is gorgeous. Yeah, I know for sure. Oh. That's sweet. So many impactful lines of dialogue. I love it. It's my voice, so it's got a spell to it. Yes, of course. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Figuratively? Oh, 
そなたの敵への抗議を込めて共に死を迎えようではないか。ダメ。目を閉ざしてボーガの果てへ参ろうではないか。ワオ。この後に及んでもお分かりにならないのですね。お前様が私に許さなかったのは死ではこさりませんね。お前様には手の届かぬ。ああ。私はお前様とかように死するくらいなら。ああ。千年生かされた方がマシでござりまする。Ouch. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, man, that hit me. <laughs> yeah. That s powerful acting. I mean, that's probably the only place and、oh. circumstance he can have a feeling like that. Ugh.、Oh. All alone, <laughs> concealed. Of course. <laughs> you're like your pheasant, man. Interesting, he doesn't need a translator anymore. <laughs> He's not even going to know them anymore in the spiritual sense. Blackthorn? Pilot? Yep. John Blackthorn? <laughs> Is that you? Any freaking news from、uh, the back? <laughs> well, hey. It's giving you up for dead. How many of us left? Six. Do you remember how many originally there were? Well, I've been given clearance for us to return to Erasmus. I have a few friends. I've been training some of them on the cannon. To do what? To have to help us. Yeah. Home. I don't know, man. Home isn't a place, John. It's a people. <sighs> Where does the pilot want to take us this time? Maybe Africa? Back to the Americas when we left Santa Maria. Were there really Spanish ships to the south, to the north of us? Oh. I just hate to think that we spent these months wasting away because our pilot had ambitions of his own. Jeez. First Englishman to the strait, ready to make his name. He had orders. We could have turned home and you know it. Our orders ended when the Captain General sent a shot at the back of his head. All right, that was like the first scene. I'll speak to the rest of the men myself. First, take off those skirts. We'll, um, we'll careen her. We'll scrape her. And the extra men we need, you leave that. I said, take them off! Oh! oh no! <laughs> you son of a bitch! Oh! I,、uh, I mean, you're not gonna win this one, man. <laughs> oh! I mean. No! Oh! Hey! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, okay, I think he's had enough. Okay. He used to go down. <laughs> Your whole outlook on stuff has changed. Yeah, I was gonna say, you are not the same man. You were taken into captivity. Tell him I understand we've had our differences in the past, him and me. But now is the time when my choices are few. <laughs> I once offered. To sail for Toranaga Sama against his enemies. Now he is determined to die. Fine.、Yep. Shukume. Hey! I still have my ship. I can train a crew. I just need a new banner to sail under. Oh. You wish to sail on Yabushinga Sama's behalf? I don't wish it. He is a shit face. <laughs> <laughs> no one cusses like him. <laughs> He's a shit face. I don't know what to do. 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 <laughs> yes, none of us do. Yeah. This weapon is not mine. Perhaps there existed a, a moment in which I had fooled myself into believing that I could one day belong to this place, but that moment is leagues behind me. Ouch. Nakama. More. Barbaric. Ah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. After the last scene, I totally get where he's coming from. I've known you were a man who understood the importance of taking fate into his own hands. Yabushing is a manga. Gaketishin of Chino Tachin Natori, Onorega Shkumeo, Ayatsurkoto, no Neuchi, Shirukatato, Omeo Kestato Most or Aremasur. You more than anyone, probably. <laughs> the amount of wills you write. Kotabina Yamacha, Omen Mirto Slade Morite, says Shaw Keste, Toranaga Sama Uragiran. Yeah, you give him a little allowance, though. One of us, Shironi Tsudoi, Tono and Kyojun, the Shirushi, Shome with us got in that do. He refuses your offer. s a y s it is betrayal of our Lord. A couple episodes back, I don't know if he would have had that same response. Yeah, for that head in the box. Otherwise, it would not be loyalty. But loyal turns senseless very quickly when the order is signed. Would you like me to translate that? Oh, no. Yeah, actually. Maybe How、not. was it for me? Oh. 
Yes. All of the above. Kiku. I remembered her name this time. Jin. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. He did actually leave it to her. In the will, after right? After that initial disinterest. Yeah, it was subtle, but I kind of missed it in the last episode. Oh. Damn. Careful, man. Have you noticed who we haven't seen at all this episode? The brother, half-brother? True that. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, the church is going to be next to the. the... Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, they work in tandem together next to each other. It's the, yeah, I think a it'd steady be... chain of confessions going on. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Yeesh. Do not ally with him. Huh. Look what I made. That's emotional. Oh, no. Oh, why is the oh, show keep doing this to me, John? Yeah, man. That's good. We needed some feels. Yeah. Right about to pop off the end of this thing. We got to get you right in the heartstrings first. Everyone's just waiting for him to blink. Maybe this is to show who's like loyalty. I don't know. I mean, it is. I can see how this would be like a test because you got to convince everyone that you mean this and like really push it past the point of like how. Yeah. How much you in this for me versus whatever logic that you want to apply to the situation. Uh, oh, uh, come on, uh, man. You know what you're fighting for. Fighting for Kiku. Ah. Oh. 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 Ooh. Better good. Hey. Oh shit. Oh, call the bluff, damn. Oh. Them are you. My one and only friend. I love how intense this is. Yeah. <laughs> and it's so and there's no restrained. Act, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like there's no actual violence. It's a great way to, to actually enforce, yeah, that sense of tension because everyone wants to explode. <laughs> His facial expressions are insane. Yeah, just the steel fixed gaze of them both, like... Ooh. Oh my god. Oh. Damn. Then die. Wow. No. No. Oh my god. 
Yeesh. Oh my god, dude. Wow. Wow, man. Ooh. Oh my god. No. Come on, man. No! Oh my god. Oh my god, we are doing it. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh wow. Oh my god. Oh oh my oh I'm speechless. <laughs> Subtext for yeah. How do you really feel? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I can count on him. Okay. Is this all part of it? No, no, no. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the way this show has you questioning, like, what is and what isn't, is amazing. <laughs> sure. Uh. Uh -oh. uh. Damn, dude. Yeah, now they're breaking apart. Oh. You gotta form your own. You gotta take control of your own fate, homie. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like me and you. <laughs> Playing her part, Janitio. Yeah, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, and finally. Oh, uh, where his son was. The, the, the fire pyro. After the whole episode, yeah. Wow. Not in vain. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Wow, dude. <sighs> <sighs> oh, Damn. <laughs> All right, let's go to episode nine. Yeah, <laughs> right right, <laughs> right into episode nine. Damn. Oh. Ah. Oh. Mm. Oh my goodness gracious! That was a that was a headful, man. They're, Just a bit. They are so good at pacing this out. Heavy, emotional, but we got lots of thoughts. Oh yeah, we got a lot to talk about. <laughs> Thrilled to be partnering with a brand I've been using for nearly two years now, and that's Harry's Razors. I'm generally more drawn to anything that goes against the norm, and Harry's does just that in the grooming world. They saw the high prices in the industry and decided to blaze their own trail with quality and affordability. I keep a beard, but whenever you see these cheeks and the neck clean, then that's the work of Harry's right there. Keeps my wife happy, and Harry's makes it effortless. They're precision blades that cut smoothly with less drag, making every shave satisfying. And yes, it's versatile for other areas too, you know what I mean? So as a Harry's devotee, I can vouch for their value. You can experience unparalleled comfort and quality in your grooming routine where exceptional craftsmanship meets affordability, making a smart choice for a top-notch shave without breaking the bank. Their kits and value packs for shaving are unbeatable, but Harry's is not just about shaving. Again, they offer top quality, thoughtfully designed grooming products, including shampoo, conditioner, and amazing body wash without the premium price. Quality, affordability, that's a thesis of this. Now these I actually pulled right from my own bathroom. I regularly use their five blade razor with a nice weighted handle and their foaming shave gel man this that ball it is a game changer i just like the feel of it 
Now I have to commit to keeping this in my hand the whole time because I'm not going to go to the bathroom in the middle of shooting this. The handles, they feel perfectly balanced. And the Razor Sleek design is a classy addition to my bathroom. And the quality of the shave, unparalleled. Gotta reiterate, keep part of my weekly grooming ritual because their entire range of products fits seamlessly into my routine. Stuff no reshoots here. Their German engineer blades are durable and refill plans are economical. Rarely use the word economical, but I'm using it now. Plus their commitment to high customer satisfaction and no risk trial makes Harry's a no brainer this gel really does feel good. Let me say once more, choosing Harry's means quality and affordability. By grabbing your $13 trial set for just $3 at harrys.com slash rejects, you're not only getting a great deal, but you're also supporting this channel. That's harrys.com slash rejects for your $3 trial set. Stay sharp and embrace the extraordinary with Harry's. Till next time, Reject Nation. Till next time. All right. And Jin, what did you think? That's just me. What did you uh, think? Episode eight. Uh, another incredible episode. Again, yeah. I just love how much tension there was without any actual violence yeah. uh, being done just through the dialogue. And again, the facial emoting that was just so excellent, excellently portrayed by all the actors uh, and the dialogue was so well done. Uh, also, too, a couple times just I had the feels going. I mean, not only from just the characters and what they were feeling and the emotions going on. But the actors, again, the emoting oh, yeah, and, the, and their portrayals of these characters, just I was so in the moment with them. Um, also, too, I just love this back and forth we got with Toronaga. I know we always say he's a master tactician strat strategist, which he is. But I love that the show always does this good job. Like, is this part of the plan? Wait, yeah, no, right. no, it's not. Yes, it is. It's like it's always yes, this it back is, and Derek. forth as an audience member. If you haven't watched the original show or you haven't uh, read the book and you have no, and this is a, like a first time, I just, I love stuff that is unpredictable in a satisfying way, story wise and character wise. Again, it's just done so damn well. Mm -hmm. um, also, too, it paves the way when you do eventually rewatch it. Like, this really was like set it up and, and it nuances it in ways to where you're watching like, OK, I can see little seed, seeds here that they sprang in here that like it's subtly done, but still in a way like it's still so good and unpredictable. Um, but I, I love that they always have you on the edge of your seat like, oh, where's this going? Yeah. And, but it's uh, always you know, it's going to be done in a way that is going to be, again, appealing, satisfying and, and done in a dramatically epic way. 100%, um, yeah. So, yeah, that was good. Um, I don't remember again. You guys will have to let us know because um, it's been a while. I feel like since we saw was it uh, the Tycho's wife died. Dion? Dion? Dion. Yeah. Um, I don't remember the last time we saw her, so that was definitely a little bit of a, whoa, we didn't expect that with the whole stroke. Um, and then that whole scene, again, just, uh, this was a very emotionally, uh, not exhausting, I won't say that, because uh, I was just, again, so into it. I would just say, like, dramatically emotional, uh, impactful episode, as all the episodes are. Um, but just that scene with her and uh, Ochiba. Yeah, that was such a great scene. Um, I, I love that some of that dialogue. And she said, like, um, you know, that I, I figured you would be the last one I'd see and like, uh, you know, tell our son to look for me in the other world or whatever the lines yeah, were. I get perfect just, world. Yeah, whatever just, they say. Um, and also, too, I, th I found it very fascinating when um, myself, uh, John Blackthold, uh, <laughs> yeah. when I when I saw uh, when this I, is your biography. Just, now, I'm really now I'm actually in the moment talking about myself. No, when John Blackthorne, <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm like getting too far ahead. Nah. Uh, nah, when nah. John Blackthorne Go saw, off road, baby. yes, exactly. When John Blackthorne saw, um, I guess they said there's six members left. Of, by the way, let us know in the comments how many were other than the guy who got boiled in the soup ca cauldron. How many were there? Because uh, they, according to them, they said now it there's didn't only six. Seem like a ton when we yeah, got yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. It I, felt I thought, like a handful. I, and it's like a smaller handful. Right. Now. I, for some <laughs> reason, I thought there was like ten or eleven. But again, that was episode one or two. It's been a while. But let us know in the comments because you guys are, you know so on it um but we found out there's about six of them left but again that whole scene again emotionally just being driven into me just like wow like it was interesting to see the contrast between the two characters like mm -hmm. i don't recognize you anymore and same thing with blackthorn <laughs> towards him like he doesn't yeah. recognize him it's like different purposes now he's a different man and also to like who the hell are you yeah i forgot uh, the pilot uh, as he calls yeah, him but he's it's like calling him that. yeah and like because you forget that like those guys 
aren't all British. Like he calls him out for like, you know, you're the, the first Englishman out this way, you know, trying to carve your own path or yeah. like, you know, once our, our actual captain, you know, did what he did, you know, we could have just gone home, but you, you had to follow your ambition or whatever. And, uh, and yeah, it's, I think it, it is interesting to know because you have the Portuguese, you have, uh, the English in Blackthorn and then you have these other like Scandinavian characters and stuff like mm. that. And, uh, and yeah, it's, it's interesting to be reminded of that, especially because yeah, it's like he's been through so much during this time while they have as well, I'm sure, but it feels like when we get here that they've been kind of just pocketed off to the side to just sort of maintain and, and just be who they are. It's, it feels like they haven't changed a lick since they've been off camera much yeah. uh, since the beginning of the show. I'm sure, you know, there's, there's maybe something in wait, but it doesn't seem like we're going to spend too much time on it. But, but right. yeah, like really watching that thing uh, when Alvito comes back. Um, yes. Uh, I forget what they call him in Japanese because they get they have like a little moniker for him. But uh, but yeah, when he comes back and he has that confrontation about like, hey, you know, I'm not I'm not in Ishido's pocket anymore. Uh, and you, you know, you <sighs> certainly seem to have adapted to the culture. You're like, are you going to go back to your to your crew like that? And and that little, you know, sort of laying of the seed that like, oh, yeah, like you have changed. And even though you don't belong here necessarily you have acclimated far beyond your peers and in a way that is going to make i think life kind of interesting and odd to behold for at least what's left for blackthorn in this because yeah he he isn't he's very much an outsider in japan he's very much an outsider within these structures these systems that hold the society up and yet he's also far removed now from his own you know uh, culture of origin and way of doing things and even even the way like i like that it doesn't have to even be a joke like that he does make the crack about oh i can smell you know what's his name from you know here um but even so like aside from that it does sort of in that way kind of punctuate like oh yeah like even what a small thing like that like he's even sort of taken aback at a smell he probably wouldn't have even noticed before right, and right. that's like a sign a signifier and, and you can see I love that like little body language before the guy even comes out he can just hear them causing a ruckus and he doesn't even really want to go take that walk until the guy stumbles out and is like, hey, is that you? <laughs> you know? Um, and so, yeah, I think his growth and his journey and, and the rock in a hard place he finds himself between is interesting because, yeah, you have somebody like Alvito who he's been very much at odds with. He's very not very much not inclined to ally with the Catholics. And yet Alvito, for as cunning as he is well within, you know, sort of the history of the church at this time, he does seem more pragmatic as, as I think you kind of pointed out during the episode he's he's a bit more plugged into the reality on the ground of where we are and he seems to have an actual eye for like what's going on politically and how he can you know use that to advance you know the church's interests and so yeah watching those different moments where he has to talk to you know Toranaga and pitch his piece and you know that that whole kind of that was great yeah just that that bit you know, where the, the ally, the wh like when he makes her translate on his no, behalf, no, yeah. because he's yeah. like, no, you know, you've, you've crossed the line and I don't want to ally with you anymore. Mm -hmm. Like so many, again, great little flourishes and, and again, uses of the translation as a motif rather than just as a delivery system of information. For sure. Also too, that was kind of a callback when he said I could smell them, like, because, uh, he hadn't bathed in a while, Blackthorn. And sure. then, uh, Mar sure. Mariko was like, can you please bathe? or something like that so I kind of felt that was a little bit of a callback also to Blackthorn because you know he's changed a lot of his ways and gr uh, grown as a character yeah. also it was interesting to see kind of the divide with uh O Omi is that his name? Right? The nephew of the Yib nephew Yibushige. of Yabushige. Yeah. Uh, that was interesting to see too. It's like because again, Toranaga is playing this game of uh, shoots, shoots and ladders and <laughs> uh, and uh, chess. <laughs> um, so it's it's interesting He's to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, um, Hiromatsu is that his name? Yeah, his like. I mean, his, uh, his right hand man. Yeah, there. I mean, yeah. you oh know that God, this guy dude. has been his right hand man since oh, they were young ones. That um, hurt. Yeah, no, that did hurt. And uh, but 
there was, I mean, he's bound by honor and duty and uh, to his friend. And he, there was a purpose for what, why he did that. Uh, as horrific and sad as that was, um, there was a purpose and a reason for it. And I mean, respect, damn, yeah. <laughs> to make your son do that. Um, but oh God, uh, yeah, yeah, that I was, a, again, a very impactful moment. Uh, again, there's so many on this show. It's just, it's incredible. Um, but yeah, that was incredible too. The, um, uh, with uh, Alvito, like I said, he's very level-headed. That scene with him and Torinaga, I lo- you're like, no, he, uh, we're not allies anymore. You're gonna Mariko, you're gonna translate from. I also loved uh, some of the scenes with uh, Buntaro and Mariko. Uh, Mariko, excuse me. Uh, I love those scenes as well because he. I know, kind of, at least from my end, I'm not gonna speak for you. Like I had mentioned, like he's being extremely cold towards her, and like uh, I had to I be. Mean, he, cor- has I had, he has been, but I had to be corrected in the comments too. And uh, you know, I kind of watched one of the episodes back I'm like that's true but she also is not very warm towards him either well, yeah it's the acknowledgement um, that this may not be just only his fault for right, being an, right. a jerk or something yeah. but yeah it's, but it's it a was, complex yeah. back and, and forth that they have and again yeah. while I do love the relationship between her and myself um, <laughs> and I do hope maybe we'll see something come about that more we shall see um it was nice and sweet to see Buntaro uh, try and, you know, be sweet towards him, make the tea. But then and that whole sentiment about, hey, we're kind of already doomed here. Yeah. Uh, let's go into the afterlife as husband and wife. You know what I mean? That was an interesting sentiment. Yeah. And um, like achieve this peaceful release together. Yeah. This blissful union that we could never somehow, you know, click together here on the mortal plane. Like, yeah, it was yeah. really, really striking, really touching really sad and her scene. response was interesting <laughs> oh sure i mean yeah. yeah i mean you remember because part of you in those in those moments does kind of feel for buntaro and you yeah. see him more in this episode than any other up till now you know in a in a much more vulnerable soft and human light and you can feel even though everyone is still quite restrained just just how like you can feel like the the almost I don't, not like a little boy but there's just something like much less, you know, outwardly prickly than he often puts forth. You know, there's something that clearly wants this warmth and this closeness and this release. And and yeah, like I felt for him because you could tell in these little moments like, oh, man, this guy's this guy's got it bad. Yeah. And it's and there's just nothing you can do. And, yeah. and that whole thing she said, especially after everything she's been through and and being at times Felt feeling like she's been forced to live when she would much rather have some kind of honorable death. Right. Uh, you right. know, yeah, then to counter that basically with like, I would rather live forever than yeah. die here this way with you. Yeah, <laughs> you absolutely. Know? Totally agree. Yeah, um, like, I found it also fascinating uh, there at the end how uh, Torrenaga paid respects to his son, which obviously we saw at a distance in that epically yeah. scoped, scoped shot. Uh, that he did where we could see the, the fire pyro going off. Um, the funeral and the, pyre. The funeral, thank you. Uh, and then also, too, uh, we saw that him and Hiromatsu basically gave him more time with the 49 days with his son. And then yeah. I don't know how many more days are granted uh, with Hiromatsu. Uh, but again, he's saying, you know, basically what you said, it, this will not be in vain. Also of note, I kind of mentioned it during the reaction. Uh, we didn't really, I don't believe at all, we saw the brother, half brother. Yeah. Right? So it's, yeah. I'm interested when he comes back oh, with the sure. interactions are going to be with him and Toronaga again. He did not, you know, he was not the one that ended the life of uh, uh, Toronaga's son. Nag- Nag- Nagakado, no. Thank you. Um, so <laughs> he, he was just there. Um but uh, yeah, I'm very curious their interactions or where he was in this episode exactly. So I think uh, that's a fascinating thing because part of me didn't. I was never missing him. Like oh, I was no, never. I'm not saying I was, I was never sitting him, here going yeah. like, "Where is he?" No, like there's. I was a, just curious. No, no, no. I think it's a good thing to point out because I think it is an interesting thing to do, and I think it's something that builds that curiosity about what the truth really is and and as you pointed out and uh, you know a lot of people in the comments have echoed like there is this sort of lingering question about b- because 
clearly, as evidenced by this episode, we need to go so very far to convince everybody, you know, and to test how dedicated everybody is. You know, it does beg the question, is this all part of a bigger, more elaborate ruse? And is this, you know, an attempt to weed out further, Mm. you know, the people in our own home camp who might be plotting against us and then take the fight to Osaka, then enact Crimson Sky, etc., etc. And I think, you know, on the one hand, I could certainly see how we might reconnect with him and maybe they'll draw out a moment of tension with that. You know, yeah, this could be some kind of greater, yeah, luring out of, you know, the the wolves in sheep's clothing or whoever else. And, and yeah, I I imagine that it could be a nice little subversion on top of subversion because we meet him. He's very jolly. He seems like, ah, you know, I'm your goofy half brother who's just out here chilling. And then we think, oh, maybe he's got this turn where he really wants some kind of mantle that he feels like he's owed or some greater place in history or maybe you know further 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 down the line he's going to try and secure that place in history by backing his brother and by you know yeah yeah i feel like we are peering into a time where you would probably have to carry out some kind of public ruse you know in a situation like this yeah. to sway just yeah what the portrait of allegiances is yeah it's and gonna, all that stuff it's gonna be you know? interesting to say uh see rather and the uh, last thing i want to say uh, the whole Ishido and Ochiba uh, thing uh, with him wanting to marry her and then kind of fading to black before all that happened. Yeah. Interesting to see where that's going. Uh, if they did get married, what's going to happen with that? And I'm if curious. they're going to be able to yeah. sway her in any way. I thought yeah. that was a super yeah, compelling right, right. argument How, too. Is there like, any way I can make her my ally? Uh, Tornaga yeah. was asking Mariko. I loved all that. Again, just the emotional drive uh, uh, in this episode. And uh, also too, I love that shot. Uh, where we got to see uh, Jin and Kiku and all of them yeah. looking at uh, where their uh, tea, uh, what, what's where their yeah, we I don't really know what yeah. they'll be called, but yeah, but where their where, where their th- protected space. Yeah, will and then be, we see how, how Vito's like, oh, um, we're all oh, going to be next to each other. Yes, <laughs> prime real estate yes, right exactly. next door. To y'all. But again, seeing it all done before all the real estate goes in, I, I thought that was like an again the the, the scope of everything looked uh, pretty cool before everything gets built. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Great, great up again. This is why I love this show so much. Like, there's n- when there's no violence, like it's still di- so damn epic, and there's so much emotional drive and depth in this show, and the dialogue is so good, the acting is so good. And again, we know there's an epic battle coming up. I'm so like, oh, I'm so ready. Yeah, but I I, built it up. I appreciate. Yeah, we know it's coming. We know that shit's going to pop off, to put it bluntly. But I like that even this deep into the season, even during an episode like this, we can pivot. We can do something that is still just as tense, but it's all the debate. It's all the like real like whittling down. It's like you feel the burning down of that stick of time as they're like that Good last <laughs> moment, that, that that last big scene together where they're yeah. challenging uh, Toronaga and, you know, it's coming right down to it. Everyone's like, you either are going to sign this pact with me and we're all going to march to Osaka right, and surrender right. together or, you know, and to have, yeah, that showdown between him and and uh, and you you're better than me than this uh, in Hiramatsu like was so gripping and touching and yeah. harsh and oh, heavy man. and like just the, <laughs> the expressions being traded back and forth the focus on their eyes the things being said versus the things being felt or yeah. at least expressed physically and the the like I love I guess to sum this whole thing up because we're on a bit of a time crunch today I love that this episode really does like you still have that feeling deep 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 down where you're like Torinaga's working something. He's gonna. Fi- he's got something. He's gonna figure this out with, and uh, and they go very far to convince you. Well, yeah. like maybe not. And in these moments, I'm like, I still feel like at the deepest part of me that this is all kind of part of a plan. Yeah. But I do appreciate that it also feels like this could be all part of a big debate. Yeah. That is constantly changing and, For and, sure. and constantly kind of living out phases. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just like the bookends of this with him watching from afar and letting all the chips fall and then finally paying yeah. respect to Nagakato in, in silence alone. Like just so many excellent flourishes and bits of drama and, yeah. and craftsmanship and performance across this 
episode, the show, etc. For sure. No I'm, Fuji either today. I was about, you ruined Damn, it. I was about to say perfect episode, mind. except no. I was uh, because I saw. Her. I was about to say perfect episode, except for no Fuji next <laughs> week. It'll but be. But she a was mentioned episode. in it, so I guess it's the next best. Only thing. Fuji next week. Yes, the whole episode. Well, all right, gang. Um, yeah, let us know your thoughts about episode eight and what you're looking most forward to yeah. in the last two episodes. Yeah. And do you want to hear the only Blackthorn voice in episode ten? Just <laughs> yeah. kidding. I'm not Comment gonna, below. I'm not going to do it. You'll get too we'll sick talk of it. Extra you'll, long next time, you'll, you'll and then you'll, yeah, it. you'll have it not. rooted into your it's brain. It's only done well when it's sparingly done. Nah, nah. The the rule of comedy is more is better. Ah, the bigger okay, bigger is better. All right, John. I'll have to remember that. Thank yes. you, my friend. In fact, just live your life as John Blackthorne. Thank you guys for tuning in. Really appreciate you loving this journey. Cannot wait for the final two episodes. I am starting to panic now because I'm like, I can't believe we're already here. <laughs> I know. It's, um, it, uh, it went by quick. Absolutely. Like, like the show, it's so well paced. Yeah, absolutely is. Thank you for making this such a lovely, rich experience. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you next week. Be well, people.